Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy, Psy Yu-Gi-Oh! with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today, uh, I was asked to do some combo videos with my old Pendulum list, you know, the second place one. Uh, really old list, uh, not so format, but he wanted to know how to play the deck, so I thought that was a good list to start off with. And uh, I'm going to start off with a combo with a hand that he told me, or sent me a message of, which is two Master Cerberus. Uh, this is a hand that he drew. Uh, two Master Cerberus, one Magister, a Garuda, and a Citadel of Endymion. So, uh, there's two ways we can go about this. Uh, there's one where you don't normal summon and go for Crowley and Blue Boy to draw two. And there's uh, the other where you can end with a Magister and Jackal on field to have the potential bounce and uh, negate. So, first we're going to start off with activating Master Cerberus in our left scale. Uh, then act. Oh, it's my already fucked up. My bad. <laughs> uh, first, we're gonna activate Magical Citadel of Endymion. Then we're going to activate Master Cerberus in Scale. Magical Citadel of Endymion will go up by one. I am not prepared at all. See how this we're professional this on this channel. Team bad cards. Team bad cards. What did you expect? Forever. All right. What do you? What, what, what were you expecting? Were you expecting a fucking quality? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are watching this video? Who do you, who do you think you are? All right. Subscribe. Watch the watch the video. All right. Shut up. Uh, so this will go up by one counter. Then I'm gonna activate effect. Pop match to Cerberus to search for a level seven or lower mythical beast monster. We're going to grab Jackal King. Uh, I am then going to activate Jackal King. This will go up by two, and use effect to pop and special out Master Cerberus. Uh, next, what I did for him was I normal summoned Garuda, and I linked into a Crowley, uh, and activate Crowley effect. In his, uh, test, he drew secrets, so we're just gonna add secrets, uh, for the sake of it, just cause that's what he had during the thing. And what you can do is you can, since you already normal summoned, uh, you can either activate this, uh, activate secrets to add knowledge, oh my god, I just put it to the top of the deck, why am I looking through this, <laughs> team bad cards, uh, and this goes up to three. Now what I did here was I used effect of Citadel of Endymion to uh, use Magister's effect. So I removed three counters from Citadel to summon out Magister and Jackal King. So now if they were to uh, Nibiru, you have your outs there. Then I activated Spellbook of Knowledge, gaining you two cards uh, from what you already had and putting a counter here. This will go up to three. And you can activate uh, Mythical Beast Master Cerberus to make this go to 5 and this to 2. Uh, now, these two cards could be anything, but what you have already is you can remove 3 counters from... Uh, if you were to end your turn like this, you could remove 3 counters from your Jackal to summon out either a Endymion, a second Jackal, or... Reflection to bounce. Uh, Whose effect is that to, to special turn. summon? Uh, that's Magister's effect. On your opponent's turn? On your opponent's turn. Oh, okay. So, so that's yeah. really cool. So I, I thought that this was not going to end on yeah. any interruptions. So you're ending on two interruptions. Yeah, you end on two interruptions because you can sum it out him. There's still a counter here and a counter and two counters here. Mm -hmm. uh, or so if you're playing against like a monster heavy deck, you would want to go with Jackal King. Or if your opponent's trying to set up a extra monster and they need a specific monster like a, let's say... Aurora Dawn, right? Like they go on Aurora Dawn yeah. or something like that. Uh, you would summon out Reflection and Reflection would bounce uh, the important monster that they would have for their combo piece. Okay, so like Romulus. Yeah, for, like, Rom for, like for Romulus. Dra yeah. yeah, like Dragon Link. For Dragon Link. Link. Like Dragon Link needs that uh, Link monster to keep going. Yes. So you would go this so they would be able to target their uh, monster. So Okay, that's pretty yeah. cool. So that would stop that from going through. Or if you wanted, if you're playing like a spell deck, you could summon out uh, Endymion in attack mode 
And then do it bounce magister. Now, when when this summons uh, on your opponent's turn from the deck, does it put a counter on the card that's summoned from the deck? No, it does oh, not. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. All right. So then you would activate his effect and bounce out him, and he would gain that counter that oh, that's was awesome. removed from the card. So that those would be your three uh, options here. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then if you drew into anything else, so we drew into blue boy and chronograph. You could summon chronograph. Or you could activate Chronograph Effect and then uh, summon out something else, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to go back to the beginning here, and we're going to say if there's like another route that we could have gone with, which is the non-normal summon route. Okay. Uh, so that's like a safety. Uh, yeah, so that's like the safe play if you want to make sure. Why am I doing this? I am so idiotic sometimes. <laughs> You did this to me. You got this. Um, I'm so smart, I swear. I have plays. <laughs> okay, uh, so next one would be, if we didn't want a normal summon, obviously start with Citadel. Activate Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Uh, use effect of Master Cerberus to pop. And we would add Jackal King. And then we could activate Jackal King. This would go to two, but instead of normally going for uh, any other play, because we have Garuda in hand, we could activate Magister of Endymion. This will go to three. Activate Effect of Magister, summoning both, uh, and then linking off into Crowley. And this one we're actually going to roll and see what we land on for the adds. So it's Blue Boy. I will do the honors. Go ahead. Uh, one, six. So one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. All right. Six. six. So you get that. So okay, you get Blue Boy. So I get Blue Boy. That's actually really cool because you still have your normal summon. I still have my normal summon. Insane. So uh, in this case, we're going to activate the Jackal Effect to summon out Master Cerberus. Uh, this way, uh, Master Sherpers will gain counters for what we do here. So something at least gains counters. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, this is a weak play to Nibiru, but, you know, it's like the more random play. So Spellbook Prophecy Magician will add secrets, activate secrets, go up to two, go up to one. Uh, activate knowledge, send... Uh, Go up to four, go up to two, and we'll draw two cards. So we drew. This is where like that gets really insane. So we drew <laughs> wow, into you drew a demon. Wow, we drew into a demon and we drew into institution. Now, institution is really insane because you can activate institution, and this will go to three, and this will go to six, and you can add your and you can remove three counters here. Activating whose effect? Uh, institution's effect. Okay, institution's effect. Yeah, to uh, grab our servant of Endymion. So you you remove spell counters equal to the level you're, you're searching? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not explaining it to the point. But you remove counters equal to, um, on the field equal to the level of the monster that you're searching in deck. So you can remove seven to search out your Mighty Master. Uh, you can search out three to search out Servant. Which So is does it search Pendulum for. monsters that hold spell counters or just uh, monsters that hold spell uh, counters? Add one monster to your hand for your deck. Okay, so all monsters perfect, that hold perfect, spell perfect. counters. Uh, with the level equal to the number of moves, they can place a spell counter on. So it's all okay. monsters. Uh, so, That's a good card. Yep, the best card. So since you don't have any spells, you can still just activate servants. Okay. On. Uh, so this will go that to goes four, four, and then that's eight. No? This is or five, oh no, yeah, it's five. Five. Now. Activate Endymion. Broken. Okay, and this will go to uh, five, and he will go to seven. Give him a two. Next, we're going to. The, doesn't. Uh, um, yeah, she goes to one. one as well. Yeah, okay. she goes to one. Next, we're going to Pendulum Summon, since we have a scale two and eight, level six Jackal King. So you have a monster negate now. Nice. And we're going to remove six counters uh, from the board. We're going to take three here. No, four here. So it's going to go to two. No, seven, four, three. And we're going to take. Three here, so it's going to go to two. 
and we're gonna summon out Endemia and Mighty Master of Magic, and we're gonna pop our Crowley. Okay. So he so will he go to one, one counter. counter. Okay. And now we can activate the second Master uh, Cerberus, and this will go to two. This will go to five. And this will go to two. And the reason why I'm doing this... And don't you get one on here, too? Yeah, this will go to three. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have Garuda in hand. And Garuda's effect is uh, when your opponent normal summons or spell summons a monster except during the damage tip, you can remove three spell counters from your field, special summon this card from your hand, then return that opponent's monster to their hand. Whoa. So so it's like a hand trap bounce. So if they have uh, anything like Forbidden Droplets or uh, cards that can just negate all my monster's effects and removes their counters, you still have these five counters here. That you can use to bounce up and use their effects. So, nice. So that's a hidden disruption. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's how you would get that done. Uh, so you have a monster negate, a spell and trap negate, and you have a bounce. And then you have set up for next turn if they don't mess with this. But they yeah, absolutely. Would, but yeah. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so now that I've shown two routes to go with his hand, I'm going to do a couple of test hands. Test hands. All right, let's shuffle that deck up. You got, you got the, you got the setup deck right, so that I can get the. Good <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> so I drew godly guys. This deck's insane. It's still perfect, just the way it was when I stopped playing it. I swear. <laughs> Where's the fucking other deck, dude? I swear to God, if you don't have the secondary deck with the perfect hand, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, this is really bad water shuffling. Shuffling intensifies. All right, guys. Pea size blessed cut. Oh my god! Wow! Pendulums. This is every hand, guys. This is every <laughs> hand. <laughs> so much draw power. So we're gonna act like our opponent doesn't have any hand traps because that's just All right. not, yeah, yeah. that's not fair for like a lot of new players. Playing like, through hand don't... traps is something that a more seasoned player should have to worry about. Like you'll see them obviously, but we'll get to that probably later if he if the viewer continues to play. But uh, yes. activate spell power mastery. Alright, that searches any thingy. So we're gonna grab Servant of Endymion. Uh, cut or tap? I will tap. Okay. Activate Servants. Next we're going to activate Allure of Darkness. Draw two cards. And we're going to banish Baby Jackal. So this is going to go up to one. I drew another Allure. Activate Allure of Darkness. Draw two. And we're going to banish wow, two Allure of Darkness. We can't see your hand, so we don't oh. know the reasoning behind which you're banishing. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm banishing Jester Confit because I have... A scale eight. Oh wait, no, I wouldn't banish Jester Confit here. I'd banish a. Uh... Really, you'd banish Endymion. I banish Endymion, and I'm about to get so. Because you don't wide. have an extender. Uh, I do have. I don't have an extender. <laughs> well, yeah, but, which is why you kept Jester Confit. Okay. Yeah, because Jester Confit is my uh, souls. It's like an eighty dollar card, which some newer players yeah. won't have the money for. Uh, which is why I rebuilt this deck. So. Next, we're going to activate Bachelisk in the scale, and this will go to three. Okay. I'm going to activate Servant of Endymion's effect, uh, removing three counters to summon her and a monster from my deck with a thousand or more. Or, yeah, it's like a thousand or more attack that can hold spell counter. So, we're going to summon out Jackal King. This protects us from any hand traps that our opponent may have, like Nibiru, which. Uh, after you summon five or more monsters, uh, your opponent can tribute all cards you control. So this will be able to negate that, and they won't be able to do it again, which is nice. Uh, Perfect. Yep. All right. There you go. Oops. I don't know why. Brand I new sleeves. Brand new <laughs> That's sleeves. That's what happens. That's what happens. Uh, I'm going to then... Soul playing during a combo video. <laughs> no, it's because if I do this, I won't be safe from Nibiru. But uh, you know, it's just a, it's just an example. I'm not gonna 
try to like be super insane with it. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna special summon out Jesser Confit. If you had another spell, you would activate it now, so that Jack would be. What allows you to special summon that? Uh, it just says you can special summon this card from your hand and face attack position. Okay, so just yeah, a pure extender. Okay. Just pure extender. Uh, if you have another spell at this time and you have this board, uh, you would activate it so that Jackal King could go to three counters mm -hmm. and it could protect you. Uh, so we're going to use these two to go into our Crowley. Crowley's effect is going to activate, adding us one spell book card. He doesn't go there, by the way. Yeah, he I goes know. to the graveyard. Uh, <laughs> easy. They don't even know. I'm going to pendulum summon him next turn. It's the most broken card in the game. <laughs> All right. Let's One, see. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, five. Okay. That's uh, not the best. But not the best, okay. but that happens. It does happen. Variants. Okay. Now, you can't summon Servant of Endemia more than once a turn. So in this case, we are going to pop Bashless to shuffle back any face-up spellcaster in our extra deck back into our deck to draw one card. Oh, okay. So we get our best card back in our deck, and that allows us to uh, grind a little bit more or extend if we need to uh, for later in the game. It's a nice low scale. Well, that's why it's at one. <laughs> they need to bring it back to three, man. Well, let's calm down with that. <laughs> uh, so we Okay, we drew Chronograph Sorcerer, which is good. Okay, cool. Cool, all right. So right here, I'm going to activate Allure Darkness. Even though I have an extra summon, this isn't a uh, what is it? This isn't a Selene build, so we're not going to have Selene immediately available to us. So we're going to draw two cards, and we're going to banish Chronograph in this instance. Okay. For a mythical institution. And then Jackal escalates to three counters, right? Yes. So Jackal's going to escalate to three counters. We have a to right here we're going to activate mythical institution this is going to go to five and oh cool now you get to you can search uh, later on in the turn if you choose yeah so uh if you wanted to get counters on field this and this go for a straight uh servant but for now we're just going to activate reflection okay. making this go to seven so that goes to seven and we're going to there's your low skill. You can search anything at this point. You I thinking about scaling the Endymion, or are you just thinking of this search effect? So if I activate Endymion, I can get another Endymion, or I can go for another Jackal King. Uh, now, why that may be good is because you're able to pendulum summon right now some cards. Right. Uh, well, it looks like you just have the one extra. So deck what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove three counters. So we're gonna move this to four. Okay. And we're going to add Magister. And we're gonna make a similar board to last time, but this time we're gonna have more. Okay. And then Magister will let you okay. summon something uh, to your field on your opponent's turn as an additional disruption. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to activate. Endymion. Okay. This is going to go up to six. Okay. This is going to go to one, and we're going to pendulum summon out two cards. Uh, we're going to summon out Basilisk from and extra deck, and then that from your hand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to remove six counters. We're going to leave the one here. So we're going to remove those counters from him. Summon out Endymion, and we're going to pop Basilisk and Crowley. Okay. This is going to go up to two, and this is also going to go up to two. Nice. And since that's all one effect, there's no point in time where your opponent can Nibiru you because yeah. they gain the counters as part of the effect of uh, Master? Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. And since you have the bounce, you're able to bounce this. This goes to three, so regardless, your counter's going to stay on board. You can remove two from anywhere, and you can remove the three from anywhere. Uh, and if your opponent were to activate a spell or... Uh, spell there, you'd be getting counters from Jackal King. But that yeah, but still, this is a guaranteed uh, monster negate because you can just remove the two from Endymion. It, it or institution. The, so you or have, institution, and yeah. then you've got the three for for yeah. uh, for this guy for an, another additional negate. That's really nice. Uh, another route you could go is you could add Garuda for the bounce, so you could have a spell trap negate with bounce in hand. Oh, this can also summon Garuda from deck? No, I'm saying ma uh, with Institution, instead of searching out for Magister, you oh, can Oh, okay, for you could also search for Garuda if you want yeah. the bounce instead of the, the special from deck. Yeah. Okay. 
So that's that one, and I think we're just gonna do one more terrible. terrible All right, play from Team Bad Cards. Shuffle it up. <sighs> How long are we in the video? Uh, we're about 21 minutes in. 21 minutes? Wow, I that's know. fucking wild. I'm slow as hell. <laughs> just play the video on double speed. On double speed. <laughs> Hey everyone, how are you doing? Okay, this is really good. <laughs> From Team Bad Cards. It's like, there's like five minutes where you're just staying still. It's like, it's like, I'm never gonna speed up the entire video. That is the sp video speed up. <laughs> Alright, okay. let's see that last hand. Double Jack Woo. Ooh. This is what you get. Ooh. At least you have a lure to unbrick your hand. Okay, so. But I'm I would, yeah, definitely terraform. No, so we're gonna first. terraforming first for Magical Set of Delvin Demion. Okay, that'll help out. What does the baby jackal do? Uh, I'll get to that right now. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. I'm about to do that. If uh, I don't draw anything off this allure. So allure darkness, uh, okay. draw two, two cards. cards. Oh, insane! Oh, wow! Who told you? This is unfair. All right, what are you banishing? Okay, we're going to banish jackal. Okay, interesting, all right. Okay, so for, first we're going to activate jackal, uh, baby jackal in scale. Okay. Use effect, so it's going to go one. That gets one. And then we're going to use effect to pop itself to put a counter on a card. So this goes to two. Uh, that's it. Crazy, That's right? its effect. <laughs> yeah. Next, we're going to activate Jackal King. Okay. This will go to three. And we're going to pop it to summon oh, out Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, okay. Now, we have not used our normal summon yet, but we don't have to go into Crowley for this since we top deck the Blue Nice. Boy. So, we're going to normal summon Blue Boy. Uh, no, yeah, normal summon Blue Boy. Add Secrets to Hand. Okay. Okay. Add Secrets to Hand. Activate Magister, this will go up by a counter, and this will go up by a counter. So this is at four, that's at one. Okay. We're going to activate Secrets, this is going to go to one, this is going to go to two, and this is going to go to five. Okay. okay. Add Knowledge. All right. Let's see what other broken cards are left in our deck for us to draw. Comes up. Activate knowledge. Alright. I imagine you'd send the blue boy, right? Yeah, you will. I mean, if I said anything else, it wouldn't go to uh, Graveyard. Oh, yeah, draw. true. But wow. That is, good, that is a good way to uh, get stuff out of your Pungent Scale if you have them there. So we're going to draw two. Chronograph and Allure of Darkness. <laughs> Those uh, allures are glued to your hand. What? No, they're not. It's fucking, it's like the glue up. Uh, okay, so what we can do here is we can either allure or chronograph, uh, but we're going to actually use jackal effect to tribute himself. What? That's its on field effect? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, wouldn't it go to the extra deck then? Yeah, or... it does. But okay. I'm, I'm fucking having a brain fart. I don't swear, I swear. <laughs> uh, and we can summon any card from our deck. In this case we would summon Basilisk because you can remove three spell counters from the field to return with Mythical Beast card from my Pendulum Zone or face up from my extra deck. So since we have a Allure in hand and we have Chronograph and we don't want to get rid of Chronograph, what we're going to do here is we're going to activate Chronograph, uh, use effect, so he's going to be at three, use and he's going to be at one, and he's going to be at seven. And we're going to use Chronograph Effect to summon out Time Gazer from our deck. Uh, next, we're going to use Effect of Basilisk, removing one, two, three, to add Baby Jackal to hand. Okay, so now your Allure is live. Now Allure is live. Okay, now we're going to activate Magister Effect, remove three counters, summon Magister, and Jackal. Nice, now you have a Negate, too. And this makes it so that now I'm not drawing into uh, a time gazer and bricking or drawing into anything else that may not be it. And I'm only nice. adding counters to my field. Optimizing your draws. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next, Solar Darkness. Draw two cards. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, that's, awesome. that's unfair. Awesome. You're going to end on an actual board this time. I. <laughs> And it's that, that gets a counter, that gets, gets a counter, counter, that gets a counter. 
Counters for everybody. Activate servants. Uh huh. This is That's go to seven. not fair at all. I hate pendulums. This is going to go to two. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And this is going to go to five. five. Activate upstart goblin. Opponent gains a thousand light points, and we draw a a high scale. High oh wait, no, no, no it's, it's a low scale. scale. Okay, never scale. mind. That would have been so broken. Dude, that, that would have been, been insane. insane. Uh, <laughs> okay, but uh, next, so this goes to one, but that's not going to matter because we're going to use effect here. So remove three from there. Seven, four. Okay, and that special is from deck and scale. Yeah, so it's from deck and self. We're going to summon out. Endymion, Mighty Master. With a counter. Yep. And what you could have done here instead of that, since we're in Master Rule, uh, Master Rule 4 is we could, and we still had Jack, uh, the other Jackal in deck. Oh, wait, no, in the Profile Play 2. Uh, well, I have three in this deck. But um, uh -huh. I could have used these two to make IP... Oh, okay. Or uh, some other form of yeah. So I you would go IP and send these two to grave, and then you would summon the other jackal, and then you'd have those counters. But right now you're in a pretty decent spot. Yeah, that's uh, a nice board. You you filled up your whole board. It looks like. Yeah, and then uh, if anyone doesn't have counters, you can remove. You can discard. Uh, the only thing you're missing really is space, but mm -hmm. you could yeah. just do. One, two, three, four. Use these four to go into Appaloosa for four so they can't super poly you. Uh, wow. So Appaloosa for four, 2400 attack. Uh, you have Magister. 3200. 3200, yeah, 3200 attack. You have a spell and trap negate. And you have Magister who can remove three counters from Citadel to summon a reflection from deck. To bounce, or can summon out a mythical beast, jackal king, or a second. And demon might master. This is super powerful. This is this is beating any deck. This being a couple of decks. Uh, Even if again, they try to ash uh, this effect, you could just Apollosa one of the four negates that you have, and you're protected from evenly. This is. I think this is really good. Yeah. So that's the last board. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little bit more about Pendulums and using Crowley because he's insane. Uh, I'll catch you next time. This was Peace Eye, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll catch you next time. All right, guys, subscribe. See ya. <laughs>